Yes, I'm so pleased to see the return of Team Average because it means that I can uh, sit back, enjoy a coffee, and uh, in this case, it might be a good one to sit out because we're reviewing the new range of putters from PXG. We've got five to try. It's their battle-ready range. They've certainly expanded this massively in, uh, in recent months, but my opinion isn't going to count on this one, and I'm going to hand you over to... We've got Dan, we've got John, and we've got Jay. Three different golfers, three different handicaps, and we'll see what their opinions are of this PXG range while I sit in the garden and enjoy me coffee. The team will test five very different putters. All have the same milled face, perimeter weighting, tungsten, and of course, some unique PXG styling. Oh, I think if that had gone in, you'd been sold, Jay. No. We might be buying a new putter. I tend to find that I overhit mallets because there's quite a lot of weight to them. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I've, I've not really tested it for a while and I think that might just be a bit of a superstition of mine. And just hitting a couple of these now, they feel really nice. I'm like, I don't want to change putter yet. <laughs> yeah, again, really soft off the face. I don't know if that's, if that's that milling or whether it's the material it's made from. So my put is a blade, but so it feels more natural to me. Um, but it, obviously this has got the wings on it for the uh, waiting to be more on the outside. Um, and I definitely feel like it helps to keep it more stable on the way through than my putter. But yeah, again, distance control is really nice on all of them. Yeah, the, the white line stands out quite a lot on the back, doesn't it? And it, it draws your, light, uh, your eye to the, to the line that you want to take it back on and through. Yeah, again with the mallet, there's quite a bit more weight in it than with the blade one. But it, it feels like it helps to keep it sat down lower. Yeah, again, the alignment line on this being that little bit longer than on the blade, it just feels like you can take it back a little bit better. Not hit it, but it was bang on. Across the range, there's a, a wide variety of putters, like different styles, um, that would suit different eyes for different people, I guess. They look like they're built really well, uh, good grip on them, and as you look down on them, they look really solid. They've got milled faces, which again, is normally a good sign of quality. Um, so yeah, it looks like a really good range. When the ball comes off the face, it feels really soft and cushioned off it, um, but you also get a really consistent distance off each swing. It doesn't really seem like any hot spots where it jumps off the face. So, yeah, the milling's really good. Uh, performance, I've got a Scotty Cameron with one of the Newports, and if I don't hit the middle of the face, there's definitely a drop off in the distances and things. Whereas when I've hit them, um, Regardless of if it's slightly off, it seems to be really consistent with the distances and it's, you get a very similar feel across it all the time. Um, I'll probably actually say it performs a little bit better than mine does. Um, the price of them, again, like I said previously on other videos, it, it's comparative to like how much you're willing to spend, but putters are expensive and traditionally you keep them for a long time. So if you find one that works for you, then I guess it's not that much money if you look at the span of its, uh, of its lifetime for you. If, if you're hauling pots, then it's worth it, isn't it? Um, overall, across the range, there's a putter for everyone, I would say. Um, the, the good putters, they, they feel nice, they look like a good build quality. Um, they feel good in the hands and it comes off the face well, so you just need to have a look through them and see which ones suit your eye best and which one feels best for you. Feels very sort of light off the face, doesn't it?
surprises me how soft it feels off the face of something so massive. Ooh, there little time to switch the camera on. There we are. Yeah, like I said, that extra weight does really keep it sturdy. So as in from a stability perspective? Yeah, it just feels very difficult to, to push it off plane, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so yeah. it does, nice pendulum. very nice they, they definitely look premium I mean the head cover I love the head cover feels feels really nice silly thing to say but yeah um, they all look very different which is quite nice so you do actually get you know a very wide range you know from the huge gunboat to the sort of smaller blade yeah I like, I like them I would say soft they feel very almost like it's light lighter than it actually is at impact yeah it was um I think it it would be good for control. Yeah, I, I liked it. Yeah, the bigger one, like a, the gunboat. Yep, I can see the concept of having it heavier. That really did work for me. I, I get it. It was almost it took effort to push it offline. Um, it swung really nice and steady. Um, so maybe whether that's the perimeter weight in working or whether it's just the bigger head, likes that a lot. Yeah, um, I don't recall the one with the wings looked like a, something out of Star Wars. Um, that definitely was a very different feel off the face and the swing. Um, felt like you'd have to hit it harder. One particular model that you would prefer or lean yeah, towards? Yeah, definitely the gunboat. Um, again, surprising. Didn't think I'd want the mallet. Um, I've just come out of a mallet to go to a more bladed style putter. But yeah, yeah, that was definitely my favourite from the range, yeah. So it's... It's up there, isn't it? It's it's in the, the higher end. Um, they but they feel high end, you know. They they feel like a premium product. They're not the most expensive on the market, are they? So you know, um, and I, that gunboat really, what you know, it was. I sank a couple. I couldn't complain. You know, if you're spending that sort of money on the important stuff like putting, I'd, I'd be happy to pay that sort of money. Yeah. Well, they're obviously a family of putters. Uh, they're all grey and black with good markings for the uh, for sight lines on them. Uh, the weights are very different. I picked out these two basically because they're different to the other three. The other three have got sort of uh, other elements in the marketplace which are similar, but these haven't. These are particularly. Um, this one's quite hefty. Uh, but balanced um, on a on a sort of a triangular basis with the, the a single weight in the back and two at the front. This one is more balanced altogether with the four weights within. Uh, although the face is small on this Blackbird one, um, it's it's nice. It's it swings and uh, the flow of it's quite nice. The gunboat, in other. Uh, is, is again uh, a nice putter feels nice off of off the face um, but it's definitely a more heavy mallet putter uh, it looks uh, like a quality putter and it actually performs like a quality putter it's uh, it's always had that 
good roll on it. It comes through the ball quite nicely. Whereas this one is something uh, significantly heavier. Yeah. Uh, again, it comes through. It doesn't allow you to stop in the stroke. Uh, this is this heavier one is a very stable putter. Um, the head goes back and through, and it would suit somebody who drew it back. Um, it is. It's competing with Odyssey, some of the big pings, and uh, Scotty Cameron. Uh, you pays your money, and you takes your choice. Uh, it is nice. These two, particularly, are uh, different to the others. The others have um, equivalents within other ranges, whereas these two do appear to be a little more uh, original, which may appeal to some people, but obviously not appeal to everyone. Um, it's choice and fancy pretty much with putters. It's, it's a comprehensive range, it covers uh, all of the bases, all of the uh, types of putter that we're looking at in the modern marketplace, um, with some innovation as well. I think the, the ability to change the weight of the putter between uh, the various models using the, uh, the studs in the bottom is, is a plus point, um, and I, I certainly would like another go with those. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that because it was great to see an opinion and a diverse opinion uh, from three very different golfers there on putters. And you'll be glad to know that we're carrying on this week, uh, carrying on this moving forward because the next thing we're looking at is uh, some products from Ping and that one's been filmed on the same day. Really interesting results in that. So Team Average will be back in uh, a more regular basis. And I know you liked it first time round. And with the lifting and restrictions and all the other things, we can get back to doing this on a more frequent basis. For my own two penneth, I'll throw in on the putters uh, in terms of the range. I think pretty much I would only reiterate what's already been said in that there's a putter there for everybody. The quality of the build looks extremely good. They're solid putters. It is gonna be very much dependent on the style of putter that you choose to suit your putting style. But they've put themselves in a position, they've broadened their whole range right now, PXG, and uh, becoming very sort of competitive in every aspect of uh, of the world of golf clubs so uh, yeah i'm impressed but more importantly it's all down to you getting out there and giving them a go please post your comments down below let us know more importantly what you thought of the return of team average did you enjoy that video hit that thumbs up button and again when you're watching these videos being a subscriber is a massive deal to the algorithm of youtube and how we get views so if you watch but never hit that subscribe button then please consider doing that uh, because it helps massively and seriously is also greatly appreciated. Right, I will uh, sit here and enjoy my garden for a bit longer and uh, I'll see you all very soon.